Okay, now I want to talk about tuning tom-toms. So why don't we start with the first rack tom. What I do is I take it off of the StarCast hoop system. Uh, it makes it easier for me to tune the top and the bottom head. And what I'll do is I'll start with the bottom head first. I pretty much like to get both the top and the bottom head tuned to the same pitch. If anything, the top head may be a little bit t uh, tighter. All right, I'm going to finger tight all these, these six lugs here. Okay. And if you want to, you can number one, two. Okay, so I'm going to go half turn. One, two. That feels like it's already on. See, I'm just trying to get the, the bottom head to touch the bearing edge firmly. And it definitely is doing that. Okay? If the head is not touching the bearing edge, which is the edge of the drum, you'll get a, a, a kind of a flapping sound. So this is definitely touching. What I'll do is sometimes tap on each lug, or the drum head that's near each lug, and see if you have a, a similar pitch. And that's what you're shooting for. Okay, let's go to the, let's go to the top. Okay, finger tight. Okay. I'm going to number this again to show you. Okay, I'm going to do a half turn again on this one. Just like I did on the bottom one. Press in. Make sure the heads are seated a little bit. Listen. Okay. Now what I'll do is listen to what it sounds like without holding it. Get it off of your leg so it doesn't get muffled. Not a bad starting point. Let's move over to the floor, Tom. Basically the same technique. I like to stretch the head so I take it up as tight as it can go all the way around. What we're looking for is pitch, keeping the same pitch. So back and forth to here, keeping it real even. So once we're at a pretty good sound. Okay, and the same thing with the bottom head. I like to keep it a little bit tighter. Kit's ready to go. You're ready to rock. So here we go.